So I thought I would try something a little bit different today and do a video to walk you through my everyday summer skin. So pretty much what I chuck on my face on a daily basis to keep my skin in check and not scare myself or anyone else when I look in the mirror, pretty much. So I start with a cleanser, obviously, and I would normally do this in the shower, but I'm gonna spare you guys that. And I'm using the Glossier Milk Jelly Cleanser. This is just a really easy, light gel cleanser that really works for my skin, I love it. I like the Aven Lipid Replenishing Cleanser as well. They're both zero faff and very non-abrasive on skin. Quick spritz of toner, just to add a bit of extra moisture before my serum. I'm using the Tata Harper Rejuvenating Serum here, but serums are the one thing that I mix up more than anything else. Um, yeah, I really like experimenting with different ones and giving different things a whirl. And then I use the Aven Skin Recovery Cream as my moisturizer. This has been such a game-changing product for me, I can't recommend it enough. It's just such a nice sort of non-irritating, easy, simple moisturizer. Give it a really good rub in. Yeah, it's just become a, really de a real desert island product of mine, pretty much. And then I'm trying to use SPF 50 every day at the moment, if I can remember. And these sun drops just blend in. They almost work like a primer and leave you with a really nice base for makeup, which I find kind of encourages me to use it even more. Makeup wise, tinted moisturizer is a go-to of mine. The NARS Pure Radiance Tinted Moisturizer is amazing. It's just got the perfect amount of coverage, evens everything out, makes you look much more flawless than you actually are, but it's still really light. And then a couple of different concealers maybe for any spots. I've obviously got a bit of a hormonal chin going on in this video and just around your nose and stuff. But I quite like keeping bags untouched in the summer when you've got a bit of a tan. I think it makes looks really natural. And then I just use a bit of Touche Claire just to kind of highlight under brows and around your nose and stuff again. This blush is my favorite product at the moment. It goes on super sheer put a little bit on your nose and it kind of really brings out freckles and makes you look like you've just been to the beach. I love it. My brows are pretty big and unruly as it is, but yeah, I kind of just like making them even bigger. <laughs> so just kind of filling in any gaps and brushing them upwards with Glossier Boy Brow just to define them a little bit. And then some lip balm. I just, I'm a bit of a lip balm obsessive, weirdly. Just as anything with sort of no color, but just to add a bit of gloss. Some bronzer over eyelids, especially if you've had con some concealer on them and then covering up the dreaded white neck from reading too much on holiday. And that is pretty much me done. I don't tend to wear mascara every day if I'm just working from home or popping in and out and doing some errands and stuff. I quite like just having a nice strong brow and some color on your cheeks and leaving it quite simple. And then you can probably tell that I'm a little bit of a fragrance obsessive, but I just feel like, I never really feel like I'm really ready until I've got a nice spritz of something going on. And this is a really quite mannish, cologne smelling citrus scent. And it's taking me back to Italy every time I put it on, which is nice. And I have to apologize for my ridiculously gross second day hair that's going on in this video. Yeah, uh, really glad I scrubbed up well for you guys for this vid. You know, the half top knot is gonna have to suffice. I'll no doubt be scraping it all back as soon as this video is finished. I'm wearing my vintage red stripe t-shirt that I got in LA, my classic Levi's 501s, and I've got my new Chanel baby in tow, obsessed with that bag at the moment, and my coach biker jacket. Again, how would I get dressed without it? I have no idea. <laughs> So that is me done for kind of a random day in and out of the house. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, hopefully there will be lots more of this in the future. Bye.